Kingdom blessings and greetings. I'm King David, the vessel of Yielding Music Group, inviting you to stay tuned for season six of Let's Talk to the Lord, a gospel radio talk show created and hosted by Apostle John E. Ross. Keep it locked right there. Trying to do what's right, but it Jesus, I am your gospel, radio apostle, Apostle John E. Ross, creator and host of this podcast, lead apostle and founder of the Omega International Prophetic Ministries, and thank you for tuning in for season six of the Let's Talk to the Lord gospel radio talk show. Kingdom, our guest in season six of Let's Talk to the Lord gospel radio talk show is Janice LaVon. Kingdom, Janice LaVon is the hostess of the Gospel Underground and a award-winning independent gospel artist, author, and wife. 
She is a lifelong lover of gospel music and a proponent of ownership by releasing music independently. Janice is passionate about creating music that influences culture and most importantly glorifies God. And she's on a mission to assist others to do the same independently. Janice LaVon, welcome to Let's Talk to the Lord. Thank you so much for having me, Apostle. Praise the Lord to you, and praise the Lord Kingdom. It's such an honor and a privilege to be here with you all. Amen. And before we begin our discussion, please share with the kingdom your story of repentance when you began your relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Absolutely. I was born and raised uh, under the apostolic doctrine and teaching. My father is a bishop, and so being in Amen. church was a natural thing for me, okay? It was, it was a way of life. And truly, I just give God the honor and the praise because he blessed me to, to, to be birthed to a wonderful man of God who loves God and does his work by any means necessary. So uh, I've always known of the Lord all of my life through the teaching of him and my mother, Mother Sharon Walters, Bishop Steve B. Walters. And at the tender age of seven years old, I was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, as I said, they were my role models, and I just wanted to be like my parents. But as I continued to learn about the Lord and grow, uh, my relationship with the Lord became my own. And so at the tender age of 12 years old, the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, as only he yes, can Lord. give the utterance. Come on, somebody. So yes, I'm just Lord. truly grateful to the Lord for that. I have been saved since I was 12 years old, as I said, and I am now 34 years old, and I've been running for Jesus, and I'm not tired yet. Amen? I'm just Amen. grateful to the Lord that he called me out of darkness and into his marvelous light, and I'm just grateful to be living this blessed life. Amen. Sister Janice, please announce our topic, begin our discussion, and let's go to the Word of God. Amen. So tonight's topic is the importance of gospel music ministry. And as Apostle Ross has said, I am an independent gospel artist, um, and I am also a proponent of independent gospel artists. So I host the Gospel Underground podcast where I teach artist development, and gospel music ministry is everything to me. Um, I've been listening to gospel music all of my life, and I just love and I adore it. Um, but sometimes I feel like we kind of lose sight of its importance, right, particularly us artists. You know, we get so caught up in building our brand. We get so caught up in doing all of the things that will make us really great professional artists. But sometimes we lose sight of just the importance, the simplicity, the importance of gospel music ministry. So tonight I just wanted to share a little bit about that. Uh, gospel music is so important because it serves in three very distinct capacities. First and foremost, it serves us and our individual relationship with God. All throughout Scripture, we have seen examples of the word of the Lord telling us to sing unto the Lord, sing unto the Lord, to, unto the Lord a new song, come before his presence with singing. And really quickly, I just want to share a couple of scriptural examples of that for you. Uh, the first one I'm going to go to is Psalms chapter 100, verses 1 and 2. The word of the Lord reads, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Psalms 95, verses 1 and 2 says, Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Yes, Psalm 147 and 1 says, Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises. Hallelujah unto our God, for it is pleasant and praise is comely. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 19 says, Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. So first and foremost, gospel music ministry is important because it serves us. It is a requirement of our relationship with God. We are commanded to sing and make music and make melody in our hearts unto yeah. the Lord. The second reason why it's important is because it serves as a weapon of our warfare. And this is the one that a lot of people kind of miss. They don't recognize this one too clearly, so I really want to hit on this one on today. Uh, the word of the Lord in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4 and 5 says, 
For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, really quickly, I just want to give you a couple of examples in Scripture where music and singing was a weapon of our warfare. Second yeah. Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 22. In this story, just to give you a little bit of background, the kingdom of Judah was faced against three heathen nations. They wanted to destroy God's people. Ain't the enemy always after God's people? Come on, somebody. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> the Lord sent the word to one of the men within the kingdom of Judah to let them know, you ain't going to have to fight this battle. This battle belongs to the Lord. So they were commanded when they got up in the morning to get up and go out and sing and sing the praises unto God. And here's what happened. Second Chronicles chapter 20 and verse 22 says, And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and, and Mount Seir, which were come against Judah, and they were smitten. So the people of God didn't have to lift a finger. Hallelujah. All they did was go out and worship. So certainly gospel music is a weapon of our warfare. Our second example is in Acts chapter 16 and verse 25. This is when uh, Paul and Silas were in prison, and they were in prison for casting a demon out of uh, a woman uh, that had the spirit of divination, right? And so they were cast into prison because of that. But let's look at the word of God, how the music, how the singing was a weapon of their warfare. Uh, Acts 16 and 25 says, And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And if you read further down into that scripture, you'll see that the prison door slung open. Verse 26 says, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately all the doors were open, and everyone's bands were loose. Hallelujah. And if you read even further down, verse 30, the prison guard, the, the one that held them in the prison, was so fearful of the God that they served, the God that they were singing to, that he fell down and asked, What must I do to be saved? Hiya! And he was baptized in the name of Jesus. Glory yes, to God. So certainly... Music is a weapon of our warfare. And last but certainly not least, gospel music ministry is important because it serves others, right? So when we write songs, artists, when we sing the songs of Zion, that serves your brother and your sister. My example here is 1 Samuel chapter 16 and verse 23. The word of the Lord reads, And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took a harp and played with his hand. Hallelujah! So you even got to sing. Huh? Sometimes you just got to play the songs of Zion. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. People of God, gospel music is important. It's not just another genre. It's not just something else cute or fancy that we can do to gain followers and likes and subscribe on YouTube. Yes. Hallelujah. It, is, it serves us in our relationship with God. It serves as a weapon of our warfare, and it serves our brothers and our sisters. So I want you to keep those things in mind when you're creating your music. It is truly, truly important, so don't you ever forget it. Back to you, Apostle Ross. Amen, amen, and amen again. Kingdom, our topic of discussion in Season 6 is the importance of gospel music ministry. Kingdom, let's begin with the verse that God brought to my mind as I began seeking direction on what to say to release a word on our topic of discussion. I have ministered from this topic in so many different ways over the last six seasons, and I want to release something fresh to the kingdom. What God brought to my mind is Proverbs, the 11th chapter, and the 30th verse, which declares, verse 30, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise which is the purpose of the gospel of Jesus Christ. The purpose of the gospel is to proclaim the good news of what God has done in and through Jesus Christ so that people's hearts will respond by repentance. That began relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Coincidentally, in a world who feels like 
there is nothing wrong with them. Many are not in the knowledge of Adam and Eve, the fall in the garden, and what it takes to gain eternal life lost through the unrepentance of Adam. In Christianity, the gospel or the good news is the kingdom of God and the second coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Many people in this world have developed their own philosophy about life and think that when we die, that that's it. But from the gospel, we receive that Death is just the beginning of eternal life, and we spend our lives preparing to die and to live again. However, kingdom gospel music is essentially created to worship God, and in the different forms of music, we include lyrically the gospel itself in a musical form, worshiping praising, exalting, and adoration, thanksgiving, supplication, and intercession. We include in the music the power of the scripture that conveys the mighty acts, the deliverances, the healing power, the miracle working power of God with the presence of the Holy Spirit to encourage, strengthen, and empower the church and the kingdom of God to be effective. We have to become vessels, much like the utensils used in the temple and the tabernacle, which means we ourselves have to receive the gospel. We have to repent and receive Christ and begin our own personal relationship with God. And from that, with experience, understanding, the anointing, wisdom, involvement, skills, expertise, if you will, we become the perfect vessels to witness to others and can effectively disciple others and encourage others to repent and receive the gospel and eternal life. We all can participate in spreading, if you will, the gospel. Thus, we begin building the kingdom ruled by God and King Jesus. Another aspect of what I'm saying is ministry. Ministry is the work of a person or a group that is in relationship with God through Jesus Christ. In Christianity, we spread and express our faith, our great commission, and all can play a part because of their created purposes. That's why we have to have the Holy Spirit to be effective, because the attributes of the Holy Spirit are the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, and with them, we have wisdom, understanding, counsel, knowledge, the fear of the Lord, courage in pain and adversity, and reverence and devotion to the kingdom of God. All is the reason why the gospel music ministry is so very important and why Satan presents so many struggles, temptations, enticements, and tries to lure and seduce gospel artists from the understanding of their true purpose and calling. He does all he can to get not only artists, but Christians, period, to compromise the gospel and seducing them into the service of two masters by creating doubt. The same doubt presented to Eve in Genesis, the third chapter, by saying, you will not surely die. The serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, the forbidden fruit, which can be interpreted as sin, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good and evil, of which Adam knows that God is the only one who decides what is good and bad for us. Upon their disobedience, our eternal realm was gone, lost forever. Many artists struggle here because they think they can do both, meaning not adhering to the word of God and can still make it into the kingdom of heaven. And sadly, I pray it won't be too late before they realize we cannot partake in evil 
and good together. We must make a difference between clean and unclean and holy and unholy. And thanks be to God for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died on the cross and gained us our eternal realm back. Kingdom, we have to have truly repented. And when we have truly repented, it authorizes us to minister and work in the kingdom for God. First Peter, the fourth chapter, the 10th through the 11th verses declares, the apostle declares, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards and of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone serves, they should do so with strength with the strength God provides so that in all things God may be praised through Jesus. And right here, Janice, is where many record companies began to fail God. They fail God by running their companies and their businesses contrary to the will of God, not allowing the name of Jesus in the lyrics and in in the same ways as I just described in this narrative, they end up playing the role of the serpent, seducing artists into sin, some labels trying to pull the artist against the holy and perfect will of God. Janice Levon, please give the final words on our topic of discussion the importance of gospel music ministry. Amen. Whether you participate in gospel music ministry on a professional level as an artist or on the local level as a devotional leader or a praise team leader, you are responsible. You are responsible to deliver it with power, anointing, and understanding. So take the time. Take the time to learn, hallelujah, of gospel music ministry. Take the time to get to know God because to be an effective gospel music minister, you have got to know God, just like Apostle said. You've got to be filled with his spirit. In order to be an effective witness for Christ, you have to have the witness of Christ. God bless you. Back to you, Apostle. Amen, amen, and amen again. Janice Levon, please introduce yourself to the kingdom. Absolutely. I'm just so grateful for this opportunity. Truly, you are a blessing, Apostle, and I'm grateful for your platform and allowing me to be on it. But I'm certainly grateful to introduce myself to you all. As you said, I am Janice Levon, an independent gospel artist. You can find me on all social media at Janice Levon, that's J-E-N-I-S-E-L-A-V-O-N-N-E. And I'm available on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and YouTube. You can catch me on all those places. And please tell us about the music we will be hearing during this podcast. We just heard Wings of Love by Simona, and we're getting ready to hear and do what Jesus says. Yes, yes. As I've said earlier, I am a huge proponent of independent gospel artists and artists releasing music independently. Um, And so tonight we've shared, you've already heard Simona's Wings of Love. She is my friend and sister in Christ. She just released her latest EP entitled Encouraged to Inspire, and she is a phenomenal, anointed singer, songwriter, and you guys are going to love her EP. Next up, you're going to hear from me, my single, Do What Jesus Says. And certainly this song is the anthem of my life. Father, I want to obey you. I want to make you proud. So I'm going to only do what Jesus says. And how may the kingdom purchase your music and support your ministry? Absolutely. You can go on all of the digital streaming music platforms. I am big on Spotify. I would love for you all to go over there, Spotify, Apple Music, Uh, Pandora, all of the streaming platforms you can listen to, stream, and purchase my music there. Amen. And please tell the kingdom about the Gospel Underground. Yes, the Gospel Underground is my labor of love. So I am an independent gospel artist, and along my journey, I have learned so much about the business, so much about being an artist, 
and the Lord has just laid it on my heart to start a podcast. I actually started it in 2016. Um, so the name of the podcast is the Gospel Underground Podcast, and that is where I teach artist development to independent gospel artists, and I specialize in branding and marketing for indie gospel artists. So definitely if you are an aspiring artist, if you are an established artist, if you are thinking about becoming an artist, you want to listen to the Gospel Underground podcast. You can listen to it on all of the major podcast platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. You can listen to it on Audible. You can even say, hey, Siri, turn on the Gospel Underground, and you can catch me there as well. You can also check us out at www.thegospelunderground.co. Amen, amen, and amen again. And Kingdom, the music of Janice Levon is in rotation on Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. Dot international Kingdom Let's Talk to the Lord can be heard on Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Alexa, and YouTube. You can download episodes from speaker.com under Let's Talk to the Lord. We are live every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time at KingdomInfluencersBroadcast.com and SensationalSoundsRadio.net. We're there every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time. Please write to us at Let's Talk to the Lord at Yahoo.com. Please follow us on Twitter at Ross Apostle. Please visit our website, Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International. Please download our app on your Play Store for your cell phones under Let's Talk to the Lord Radio. You can now ask Alexa to play Let's Talk Radio International and Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show. We are also now on Roku. On Roku, if you want to listen to Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International, please search My Tuner. Once you get to the My Tuner platform, please search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Station. We're there. And if you would like to listen to the podcast on Roku, please search iHeartRadio. Once you go to iHeartRadio, please search Let's Talk to the Lord Gospel Radio Talk Show, and we are there on Roku. Let's Talk to the Lord Radio International is your 24-hour station for talk radio interviews, news, and Christian music. On Amazon, order our book, Spiritual Guidance Through Alzheimer's Disease, with author Kimberly V. Porter. My music is available on Amazon on all digital platforms. Lord, give me another chance, featuring Sean Scales and Tamara Lloyd. And remember now, thy creator under Minister John E. Roth. So, kingdom on till next time. May God bless you. And may God keep you every day living your lives at the foot of the cross under a open heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I always listen to what people say.
Mujer 